Hello guys, today I am going to be showing you how to build a good base in Booga Booga. People have been wondering how to build a good base, and while I've been playing Booga Booga, people are like, how do I build a base? Can you build me a base? I need the race mats for it, stuff like that. So guys, I recommend if you want to build a base, here's where you're going to get the resources. So you're going to want to mine down all the wood and sticks and leaves you can get, and then you can get a medium amount of stone. And then I recommend you start building a base around here. Or you could use ice, guys, if you want. It's easier, I would think. But anyway, with that said, let's get this done. So I recommend... So first you're going to need to put a gate. And then... I'm going to, do you want to do it like that? Then you're going to get it to tilt like this. Okay. Then you're going to want this to like turn like that. This is a small base, so this is a small example for you guys. This is the small one, then no go medium, then large. So if you want to build a small base, this is. There's going to be more added to this, okay? This is not it. Okay guys, I'm sorry, I, I muted my mic by accident for a minute. Good thing I did accidentally mute my mic because my brother went here. So, anyway what you're going to do, um, hold on. you are probably going to want to put a hut to make it look better. And then what you're going to want to do is put a campfire inside. With, of course, you probably want a chest, which you can smelt gold, iron, whatever you want that. Or you could place multiple campfires in there so it goes faster. And then, for the final touch, you could add, like, another hut, like this. So, guys, that's one way you could do it. And you would probably also, it would look good to put this and it would just be helpful just do that and then you can have another escape or just shoot along the area and yeah this is a small base now guys i am going to be doing a medium base okay so also i'm going to teach you what to do when breaking into a base here's the best like things you should do and on tactics and stuff like that so first you are going to go to the gate then you're going to if the if there's like a wall pushed in the gate you're going to just try to destroy both of them then they're both destroyed and then what you want to do is if you can before you get out place walls and then they're trapped and if there's something like this just hurry and break it and then just destroy them from that. So, that's one way to break in, guys. The medium, I'll show you another way. So, now here's the medium, guys. So, I'm going to put some stone walls because I need to save some of this wood. I mean, there's going to be some wood walls, I guess. So, I'm going to build a medium. Okay, yeah, I'm going to use wood now. Okay guys, so what you are going to do if you want to make a medium base is make it keep going like that. And I would recommend putting at least two gates with a medium uh, base. And then what you are going to do is, if you can, try not to get it in a hill like this if you have to. What you are going to need to do is just do this. 
and then it shouldn't let them up here and then you are going to make a medium like that out of wood guys I might have to actually buy some pledge chests for this video and then you could just do that I think I actually made a hole no that's fine okay then what you're gonna do what you should do once you get in here is on the gates what you are going to want to do is build another gate so if they try to break through the gate there is another gate for them to break through it will kind of damage when they're trying to destroy the first gate, but it will still like keep give you a bit more time. Especially with stone walls, you would like to, you should like probably do that. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and put another wood layer. Or if you'd like, I think if you could actually just do this, they'd have to destroy it a bit more, and they can't really hit that. Maybe like once or twice if you're very lucky. Okay, guys. Now what you're going to do. Like, if you were building right here, I recommend you'd put at least two campfires in a chest. Okay. I am actually going to buy some pleb chests, boys. Or actually, I might actually just open one. And then, let's read and just see where that goes. Okay. And then what you would probably want to do, this doesn't really matter, guys, and for medium base, it's just put maybe a hut right here, just for looks. You could also, like, you know, get up here, shoot, oh, base worse. Okay, and then, guys, what you would probably want to do in a medium base, guys, if you want, put two layers of walls, that would help. But if you, they have only one layer of walls, what you are going to do is move around, jump around, and so they don't hurt you like that much if they're, because they're going to miss probably pretty much every time. Then just maybe if you want build another wall or just come in, kill them from there. Now guys, we are going to do a medium base, or a large base, sorry. Hey. Okay, let's get all this. Oh gosh, look at the ping right now. Oh, it's not bad. I mean, it, it could be better, of course. Alright guys, so we did not get a lot from that. So, hold on, let me, you know, kind of get this. Okay. What you're going to do with a large base is you're going to want three gates, guys. Or two. I'm going to go with two, but I recommend three gates, guys. And with the large, I recommend there's one in the front and the one on the back. Now you are going to put either go straight, but I recommend you kind of let it tilt. Uh, if you guys can, build with magnetite walls. They are so OP. So, yeah, guys, let's just play with these. Okay, then we can just put a wood wall from there. If you guys can make magnetite, you don't even need a second layer. It'll take a little while. I mean, even with this, it would take, like, 30 seconds. Um, If you want, you can put in a second layer, because then after they're done with it. Oh, man, actually, this would take, like, a minute and a half maybe that's the god pick otherwise i'd take them like around five ten minutes if i mean probably five minutes if they have like an emerald pick or something like that guys god rock probably take like a minute or two maybe three and then once you're in here with the large vase you either if it's wide or just straight what you're going to want to do is put a campfire near both entrances and then what you're going to do is you're going to want to actually if you want guys you can bait them loot like what you can do is put a big old hut i don't have the resources then just drop like blood fruit and something stupid and maybe a magnetite or something okay they're not stupid but then just jump out but while they're looting it doesn't really hurt. just don't put anything that you really care about too much guys or else you might lose some of your loot but especially if they're like a god or something then 
it's probably worth it. So yeah, just set that out, just come out, jump at him, just, and then destroy him. So guys, I think that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe, hit the like button. Comment if this was any helpful to you. I have been noticing a lot of people needing like base help. And yeah guys, I'm gonna see you later. And peace out.